Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Miss Linda C. Jones, and standing before you is Marie Estelle, the great, great grandniece of Edgar Degas. And today my friend Kathy and I are at the wonderful event we were invited to here at the Degas House in New Orleans, Louisiana for the 184th birthday and Bastille celebration and I'm going to hand it over to Marie to tell us all about the celebration and some of the history of Edgar Degas when he um, experienced his sojourn here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Degas came in 1872 and he came here to visit his uncle Michel Musson and his cousins and his nieces and nephews that all lived in New Orleans. Um, at the time he came, he had not only had um, his, his uh, relatives living here, but he also had two brothers living here. Um, and so he really felt like New Orleans was, you know, something on his map. Um, he came after the Franco-Prussian War, and it had been a really bad time for him. And this was a vacation of sorts, uh, which is interesting because when he came, he was coming into the middle of the reconstruction of New Orleans at the time. So it wasn't a whole lot better than Paris at the time, but it turned out to be a very, very important visit for him. Once he went back to France a year later, he, the whole Impressionist movement began. He actually started painting differently than he had been painting previously. So even though it was really a blip on his life, he was only here for five months, it was a very important blip. Um, he had a wonderful time in New Orleans but and did 18 major works of art while he was here. Um, and actually, none of them were outside. His eyesight bothered him so much while he was in New Orleans. He said the light was brighter than it was in France. And so all of his paintings that he did are interior scenes. They are also almost all of his relatives that were living here at the time. He was 38 years old when he came. He had, by this time, had a measure of success in Paris as a painter. The Duol and Biel in Paris in the 1870s and 1880s was called the Salon. And uh, it was a very political uh, exhibition, and he had been asked to be in it twice. So he did have a reputation in Paris, but really was not particularly satisfied with what he was doing. So even though his trip was to New Orleans was really a blip on his life, it was an important blip. Once he went back, he started the whole Impressionist exhibition, and he actually started painting differently. And when um, I toured here at the Degas House, one of the things I learned is that his uh, creative um, inspiration came back during his, his time here with his cousins. Yes, um, he had had a very bad situation for him. I think possibly it was post-traumatic syndrome. I have no idea. He did fight in the Franco-Prussian War, and he actually had not painted for at least a year and a half. Oh, wow. So when he came to New Orleans, it was a whole new view for him, say. And so, like I said, even though it was really a blip, because it wasn't very long, um, it was an important blip. And he once he went back to France, the whole Impressionist movement began, and he actually started painting a lot after this. After that. And the Impressionist period is my absolute favorite, and you guys know how much I love your place, and I want to thank you so much. Um, before we wrap this up, would you mind telling our viewing public your lineage to the wonderful, amazing Edgar Degas? Well, my great-grandmother, Estelle Musson, married Edgar Degas, I mean, excuse me, Rene Degas, Edgar's younger brother, okay? Um, that was all fine and dandy. They had five children together, but he ended up leaving her with five children, and he ran away with the neighbor lady, and so consequently, his, her father said, well, I never want to hear the name to God spoken anywhere in New Orleans again. So he made Estelle take back her maiden name, Musson, and all of her children were named Musson. So my grandfather's name was Musson. It should have been Dugan, but it was Musson. 
That is incredible. And, and didn't you tell me a little bit ago, consequently, there are no Degas in New Orleans as a result? All of the children were named Nissan. There are no Degas in New Orleans anymore. Anywhere. Well, it is incredibly overwhelmingly generous of you guys to open up your home for this wonderful celebration. And I thank you with all my heart for the interview. And thanks, everyone, for liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. Happy birthday, Edgar. Happy birthday. Bye.